Hello! Today I'd like to show you one of the stitches that's commonly used when I'm doing red work stitchery, but it's just a fairly basic embroidery stitch used often in all sorts of embroidery. And I'm going to show you how to do a French knot today. So I've got my sample here ready to go. I've got a stabilizer on the back. If I was drawing a design, I'd be using a water erasable marking pen. I've got my scissors, my embroidery thread, which is a stranded cotton, and I usually use two strands, an embroidery needle, and away I go. So today I'm going to show you um, how to do um, a French knot. If you are interested in seeing how I have um, started out with getting my fabrics and things ready for um, red work stitchery, I have done a previous tips and techniques video, number 020, which you're welcome to have a look at any time. That uh, starts off with how I've set the fabrics together and things. But today I'm just going to show you the French knot. So my, I've got my thread coming out of my fabric and I'm wanting it to, uh, away from me to form a loop because I'm going to bring the needle round and I'm going to just pop the needle under twice. I want that to wrap around the needle so that there's two loops on the needle. And then I'm going to turn that, it looks a bit tricky but you get the hang of it quite quickly, and pop it back down in very close to where that thread came out, not in the same hole. You need to have at least a thread between it. And then don't put the needle right through the fabric, but grab that and pull that little knot that you formed with those twists on the needle down close to your fabric. Can you see that? So the needle is there and just pull that down close and then just just pop your thumb on that, I'm making a mess of this, pop your thumb on that thread that's got the knot fairly close down to the fabric and then push the needle the rest of the way through and then pull it through, just keeping your thumb on that and as it comes up close releasing it and just gently pulling that through and by holding that knot down against the fabric you get that very nice little knot against the fabric. So we'll do all that again, hopefully I won't get so tangled this time. So bring your needle up thread away from you, bring it round in a loop, needle going in the same direction as the thread, wrap it round twice, turn it around, just, just holding on to that thread a little bit, and pop your needle back in very close but not in the same hole as where your thread started out. Hold the needle there, gently tug on that till it pulls that knot fairly firm but not too tight against the needle and down against the, the fabric. Hold that with your thumb, Finish taking the needle all the way through the fabric whilst holding your thumb on that loop as it comes in and then as it comes in release it and just gently tug that and that will form you a nice little French knot. So we'll just do one more just to make sure. Bring your needle up away from you to form a loop with the needle going in the same direction. Wrap it round the needle twice. Turn that around I'm going to make a mess of this one. Round your needle twice, turn it around, go back in very close to where you came up but not in the same hole. If you go in the same hole it will actually pull the knot right through which is not helpful. Pull that gently so that it forms a little knot around the needle and down against the fabric. Hold that with your thumb, pull the needle the rest of the way through to the back and as you get there just gently release that and keep tugging till that forms a nice firm little knot. So uh, that's a French knot, great for doing little eyes on things, little dots, and obviously it's a dotty little thing. So um, I will just show you that I have a stitch guide that's a free downloadable stitch guide on my website, Gourmet Quilter, in case that interests you. You can just go to the site and download and print that. Um, but I'll show you an example on one of my red work quilts where I've used a French knot. And uh, this is one of the patterns that I've done. These are all little girls who are all contortionists, all sitting in various stages of shapes of the alphabet. And we'll just home in on number letter J, because she's a very French knotty sort of girl. And she's got little French knots all around here for her hair, and she's got French knots dotted all over her dress. She was in a very dotty mood that day, that J girl. And I do have a pattern for this quilt. It's also available to purchase and download on my website, gourmetquilter.com, and it's called Alphabet Girls. 
um, and it shows all the, the whole alphabet done for stitchery. It, the pattern also includes another alphabet that's done with boys so that you could do it perhaps in another colour. I've done it in blue which looks great for the boys but just to let you know that that's available. But uh, mostly I was just wanting to show you how to do the French knots and an example of where I've used them. I've used the little French knots all over this quilt for the hair on the little girls. Thank you.